Have you ever watched or listened to a paranormal program and they mention a specific person, place, or thing you've never heard of before or you know absolutely nothing about, but you're so interested in it and you want to learn more about it? You're literally yelling out, tell me about it. Well, today you're in luck. I'm Melvin and I'm going to tell you about Halloween. Halloween, also known as All Hallows Eve and All Saints Eve, is a celebration that takes place October 31st. Most people know Halloween to be a day you dress up in costume and you receive or give out candy and watch scary movies. However, like most things, it's more to Halloween than that. There is a split among academics on the origins of Halloween. You see, you can trace the origins of Halloween back to the Celtic festival of Samhain. Samhain marked the last day before winter and when the doors to the world of the dead opened and connected with the world of the living. Now, with the spread of Christianity happening, we saw the movement and creation of two celebrations. The first being All Martyrs Day, now called All Saints Day, which celebrates all saints and martyrs, was moved by Pope Beneface IV from May 13th to November 1st. The second celebration is All Souls Day, which takes place November 2nd and is a church-sanctioned celebration to honor the dead. Some believe the church created All Souls Day to replace Sam Hain with the church-sanctioned celebration since they're both celebrated in a similar manner. The All Saints Day celebration was known as All Hallows, and the night before All Hallows, the day of Sam Hain was called All Hallows Eve, eventually becoming Halloween. Halloween began its spread across the Americas during the colonial times, but it was very limited thanks to Protestant beliefs. However, thanks to the Irish potato famine of 1845, many Irish people immigrated to the USA and with them came their customs and celebrations. All Hallows Eve being one of them. Sometimes people incorrectly associate Halloween with the Day of the Dead. The two aren't related at all, and in fact, the Mexican celebration can be traced back 3,000 years to a pre-Columbian Mesoamerica. That is well before Halloween was even an itch in the USA. Now, as people already know, dressing up and trick-or-treating goes hand-in-hand hand with Halloween. But why? Well, originally, people dressed up to blend in and hide from bad and evil spirits. It is also believed that mumming and guising influence trick-or-treating. Murmurs would dress up in costume and sing and or conduct plays in exchange for a meal. This tradition was brought over with the Irish and played a part in the creation of Trick or Treating. Finally, we have the Jack-O-Lantern. While many cultures around the world have carved images out of vegetables and fruits, it is believed that the carving and creating of Jack-O-Lanterns around Halloween time comes from Ireland. In fact, these lanterns were used to ward off malevolent spirits. They were also used to represent spiritual entities and scare people during the Halloween festivities. There is folklore around the jack-o'-lantern involving a thieving man named Stingy Jack and Satan. Stingy Jack had just stolen from some villagers and they were giving chase to him. Jack runs into Satan and Satan tells him it's time for Jack to die. Jack, however, makes a deal with Satan and tells him to turn into a coin and he can pay the villagers for the goods he stole, and when Satan, as a coin, disappears, the villagers can fight over who stole it and cause some chaos. Satan agrees to this plan and turns into a coin and goes into Jack's wallet. However, it just so happened to be a cross in the wallet and Satan became trapped. 
Jack would eventually free Satan after he promised not to take his soul, of which Satan agreed. Once free, Satan left and Jack lived out the rest of his life. Once Jack died, he was refused entry to heaven because of his misdeeds, and Satan kept his word and didn't take Jack's soul. Having a conversation with Satan, Jack says to him, where would he go since he had no light? And Satan mockingly tossed Jack a burning coal to light his way. Jack carved out a turnip and put the coal in it, creating a lantern, and went on to endlessly wander the earth, searching for a resting place, now being known as Jack O'Lantern. There are several versions of that tale, but they all end the same way. Now, you said tell me about Halloween, and you have just been told. Thank you all for watching, and if there's something you'd like to know about, be sure to tell us in the comment section down below, or message us on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, or Instagram, and those links can be found in the description. Thank you all again for watching, and keep on the lookout for more Tell Me About It.